everyone in this video i'll show you how to self-host n8n with coolify we're going to use a vps in this example and i'm also going to show you how to use a custom domain with that including a subdomain if you prefer that so you can have something like n8n.yourdomain.com and you can also copy your workflow over into the new n8n instance so if you already have a workflow somewhere maybe locally or maybe in some other environment you don't actually have to replicate the entire workflow from scratch you can just copy it over so i'll show you how to do all of that in this video so just to show you let's say we have a local n8n instance first i can start a local n8n instance here for example with mpx n8n in my terminal if i do that it actually creates a, an n8n instance here on my own computer if it's the first time doing this you will see some kind of admin user sign up form however i have already done that so for me it's just a sign in here if you forgot your credentials by the way you can actually reset them as well all right so here i'm in my local n8n instance i have one workflow here i used this workflow in another video by the way with a next.js application so in case you're interested in that check out that video but let's say i have some workflow here and now maybe I wanna make it work on the internet. So I wanna push this to production. I wanna make this available on a VPS, let's say, and I wanna use Coolify to self-host this. So we can use Coolify actually to self-host N8N and not just that, but also many other services and applications like Next.js and many other things as well. And it's actually a really good deployment experience. Now I will show you an example here with a VPS. So I will need a VPS. I'm gonna use Hostinger in this example. They are also today's sponsor. I had a great time using their VPS. Now, one of the benefits of using Hostinger is that they already have a Coolify VPS template out of the box. So I think that's a major plus for them. They already are familiar with what we are doing. In fact, they even have an offering here for self-hosting N8N by itself as well, by the way. However, I'm gonna use Coolify in this example. One of the benefits of using Coolify is that if I then also need to host other things like an application or other servers i can also do that with coolify so check out the link in the description to go to the vps page for hostinger now here they show you some different plans i'm going to go with the kvm2 plan i've had a good time using this but if you already anticipate that you're going to need a little bit more resources feel free to pick one of these other plans now if you choose a plan you will go to the checkout flow here and here there's an option for a coupon code you can use byte grad all uppercase to get an even better price. So check out the link in the description and make sure to use the coupon code BYTEGRAD, all uppercase. And next, what you can do here is you can already pick the setup for our VPS. In this case, we're gonna use Coolify. You can see they actually already have N8N here as well, but I like using Coolify. It makes it much easier to self-host a bunch of other services and applications as well. So I'm gonna go with Coolify here. So now we can continue with paying and set up the VPS. All right, and after paying, we can set up our VPS here. We can pick a password, make sure you remember it. We actually won't need it in this video, but you may do other things with your VPS later, so it's good to memorize. All right, and they also offer a malware scanner, and then I will just finish the setup here. All right, so then Hostinger is gonna set up our VPS. This may take a few minutes, so I will get back to you when it's ready to go. All right, and after a few minutes, it is all ready to go. So now we can manage our VPS here. We have a bunch of options here in Hostinger. Now the good news is, because we have used the Coolify VPS template here, we are already good to go here actually. The only thing we have to do here is go to manage panel. And the first thing you're gonna see here with Coolify is create an account. This is gonna be the root user, so make sure you're the first one that accesses this. Here we can create a root user. I will just go with my own details here. And I'll register an account here. And we will go through an onboarding flow here with Coolify. Uh, they explain some of the things they do here, but we can just keep it very simple here. So basically, do we want to have everything on one server or do we want to deploy some things to a remote server like NHN on a different server and then Coolify on this server? However, we will just go with everything on localhost here, both the Coolify instance itself and, uh, and also NHN. So Coolify organizes things in so-called projects. So we're going to have one project here. And in a project, you have resources. This is going to be N8N or could be a Postgres database or could be a Next.js application. So let's go with resources here. So here we can create new resources. So you can see these are all the things that we can deploy here with Coolify. It's a really long list, very nice. Now, of course, we are here for N8N. If you type in N8N, you'll see two options here. I believe by default N8N is using SQLite, but if you want, you can actually also use it with Postgres. And actually, let's actually do that. All right, so then here it shows you some of the options that we have for configuring this service. But actually, let's just try deploying it with the default settings here. So you can see it's gonna use 
a Docker image here to get in it and running on our VPS, right? So this is all running on our VPS. All right, so as a few seconds, this is going to be uh, turning to green, meaning it is running. If we go to logs here, by the way, and we click on stream logs, you can also see some output here, but importantly, it will, it will say something like editor is now accessible via, and then the actual URL that we should be able to use to view the actual n 8 n dashboard. So let's actually go there. And actually, when you do that, you may see this page where it's talking about a secure cookie and we are visiting this with an insecure url so they suggest some options here and it's actually a little bit unclear in my view what what is the optimal way to deal with this i couldn't find that much information about it so one thing they you could do which but they don't recommend it but you could still uh, do it maybe you just quickly want to get started is to set an environment variable called n8n secure cookie and you can set it to the value of false so if you want to do that we can go to configuration here here we have an option for environment variable Variables. We can click on developer view and here we could set this environment variable uh, right here. I assume that we can just add it here because I don't see it in this list here. So I assume we can just add it and set it to false here. But I'm not completely sure what the problems will be if we do that. The other thing that I uh, tried that could get rid of this screen is to simply use a custom domain. So you can see by default, it has Coolify has created this uh, sslip.io URL here with some randomly generated ID and then the IP address of our VPS, and then it's sslip.io. Of course, we probably want to use our own custom domain. So we may actually want to use our own custom domain, and that's also how I got it working with HTTPS. So let me actually quickly show you how to do that. I will exit out of here. We're not going to add any environment variables. So in this case, I have a domain name here with hosting or actually so i can go to domains domain portfolio so i have this bytegradcourses.com domain i can go to the dns settings here so in this case i could use the root domain for the n8n dashboard right so in that case when i go to bytegradcourses.com i would see the in the n8n dashboard if that's what you want you can leave the at here however in this case i will actually just use a subdomain i'm going to call it n8n and this should point simply our IP address of this server. So I will use that and just point it there. I will remove HTTP and, and the forward slash at the end. I will add the record. So now that has been added. Now I need to let Coolify know about this as well. So here, if you click on links, you can see the links here, but it's still this sslip.io. So here we can see services. So here we see one for N8N. You can click on this icon here, or you can click on its uh, dedicated settings here, settings page. So here we can see domains. And if you hover the information here, it explains something about, we can specify the domain here. So in this case, what I would like is HTTPS n8n.bytegradcourses.com. I assume this is the, a safe way of doing it. It's actually a bit unclear to me if we can immediately use HTTPS here. However, I did get it to work. So I assume this is an acceptable way of doing it, but it's just a bit hard to find enough information about it. Now, in a previous version, I actually re read that they recommend that you keep the port uh, number of... So n8n is actually running typically on port 5678 so you may actually want to keep it there however let's actually try without i'm going to press enter here by the way so i had to press enter here to actually uh, save these settings and then i actually need to restart so you can see there's also a notification here that it's not been applied yet so i also need to restart the service here okay so that may take a few seconds again okay so it says started and again if we check out the logs here and we stream them you should see something like n8n is running on and then the particular url Right, so editor is now accessible on these on this subdomain. Right, so let's actually check that out and see if that's true. So if I press enter here, you can see that we now have access to our dashboard here. It's it's gonna show us this setup page for the owner account. So so also make sure you're the first one uh, accessing this. So let me actually sign up here. All right, and now I'm here in this N8N instance here on my VPS. So now you can see I do not have any workflows yet because this is a completely brand new install. So we could say, for example, start from scratch. And now you may be worried, oh, now I have to completely recreate a workflow that I already had somewhere else. Well, no, you actually don't have to do that. So let's say I already had an, a great workflow here locally. You can actually just go here and, and click on download. It will give you a file. So let me actually do that. So I have this file now. 
a JSON file. And now I can import that here on my actual VPS instance. So now I can do import from file. And I picked that file from my file system. And now you can see I have my workflow here, in including the nodes and also their settings here as well. So that's a really nice and quick way to transfer your workflows from some other instance. Now make sure that um, if you want this to run and be accessible, that of course you save here. And so you may want to activate it as well. Right? So don't forget that in case you're wondering why it doesn't work. So now I have my N8N instance running on a VPS hosted by Hostinger, including a custom domain, specifically a subdomain. And yeah, I've had a good time using this actually. Uh, there may be some settings that we could improve. One of the things that you may also want to do is create backups. So there you go. In a few minutes, you can self-host N8N with Coolify, in this case on a VPS. And it's just really nice to see all of this coming together where you now have a really powerful setup in just a few minutes. So thanks to hosting or for sponsoring the video, check out their VPSs. You can find a link in the description. Make sure to use my coupon code BITEGRAD, all uppercase. And then I hope this is useful for you. Good luck with your project. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.